The Columcule Administration Building, with its deep red brick, cast stone trim, and Italian Renaissance style, has become an iconic symbol of the University of the Incarnate Word. Instantly recognizable, the five-story building is named for our first president, Mother Columcule Colbert, and greets all who enter with three engraved letters, LVI, an abbreviation of Laudator Verbum Incarnatum, Latin for Praise Be the Incarnate Word. In December 1921, 100 years ago, the building's cornerstone was laid, heralding the beginning of a new era in Catholic higher education and the tremendous growth that would follow. New buildings would be constructed. Incarnate Word College, as engraved high above the entrance, would become the University of the Incarnate Word. Campuses throughout San Antonio and Texas would open with locations in Europe and Mexico to follow. And now we've opened our doors to Latin America with Global Online. We've grown and changed much since our founding, yet our heritage and our mission remain at the heart of all that we do. They will continue to guide us as we look to the future and prepare the next generation of students to be the word in the world. The University of the Incarnate Word is a very special place. And it was brought about after the Civil War and during the cholera pandemic, when three sisters were called from Lyon, France, to come and meet the needs of the people of that time who were suffering both from the pandemic and from the unrest that had occurred after the Civil War. I became part of the faculty, taught English. Next, I became uh, assistant dean until I became president. We had a nice, very nice student body, and the, the college was, was much smaller than it is now. I felt we were doing good things and going forward and creating a very vibrant institution. Uh, we became co-educational. I interviewed the first young man to become a full-time student at Incarnate Word. The faculty changed as the student body changed, as the curriculum changed. A lot of changes during that time. So as we began to meet the needs of not only our students, but our community, we expanded our health profession footprint the School of Nursing was the oldest school west of the Mississippi, but we added the School of Pharmacy, the School of Osteopathic Medicine, we've added the Physical Therapy School, and the Optometry School. When I think about our future, I have to think about our fulfillment of the mission and look to the past as an instructive guide of how we've done that in new programming, new buildings, new locations. And I think what really excites me about it is how we are really poised to continue to further the mission in really exciting ways. We were very fortunate that the AT&T building that's adjacent to Encounter Word came up for sale. And I'm sure the sisters have been praying uh, that that property, if it did come for sale, that we would be able to purchase it so that we could expand the mission of the university. So we do now own the AT&T building, which has now been named Founders Hall after the founding sisters. And so that square footage will allow us to expand our programs in a variety of ways. We're in the Autonomous Vehicle Systems Laboratories, and it's unique because of the fact that we don't have uh, graduate students. So it, it is, this lab is run by undergraduate students, and that's always been one of the most innovative features of working in this lab. Everyone here actually is on payroll. So they're working for either CPS Energy or they're working for the Department of Defense on actually cutting edge technology that is being used quickly in the field. I came to this you know, university just expecting to do, you know, business stuff with a little bit of technology here and there, but like being able to work with drone technology and machine learning, it's really a dream come true. And it's just super amazing being able to interact and work with these technologies because otherwise I wouldn't have the opportunity to. So I'm really grateful to be here and, you know, be surrounded by such great people who are always willing to help me and help me grow. 
I want our students to, of course, be able to have as many experiences as they can. And the, the university is a large and complex institution with so many different programs, locations, locations globally. So the question is how to, how to engage them so that they can really take advantage of the university as one word, as one university. And I, I like to focus on that, that phrase, one word, because I, I think that it really signals how much stronger we are when we're all working together interdisciplinarily across schools, across programs, across locations, across countries to make the connections to really bring to a student all the opportunities that they have in order to engage, to become the concerned and enlightened global citizens that we're called to form within our mission. And when I think about all that we're doing at the university, we are so excited about it.